It is such a joy to be with you this morning, such a privilege for me. My dad is also here this morning as well. It's a blessing. Uh, from the very first time I came to First Dallas, we felt a part of the family and uh, just welcomed so beautifully and so kindly. So thank you. It's such a joy to be with you. Something happened um, in my family's life just last week. It's very, very fresh, but I want to share with you about it because God brought some hope and some a new kind of encouragement in my life that hopefully will be an encouragement to you this morning. But a week ago, a week ago yesterday, we were in Colorado as an extended family having a vacation time. And um, some skiing was happening by various family members. My husband was out on the ski hills with our daughter, who's seven. And she hit a, a patch of icy, icy snow and powder and didn't anticipate what she was running into. And she flipped and she broke her tibia, which is her shin bone, which is an extremely painful situation. How many parents do we have in the house this morning? Raise your hand if you're a parent. If you have seen your child in agony and screaming and crying because they can't get their head around the pain and they don't know what to do and they're so scared, you know what that feels like as a parent and the pain of that and the hurt of that. Wrestling with that as a parent has probably one of the, been one of the more challenging things that I've been through as a parent. And I said to my husband the night that it happened, um, privately, I said to him, we've got to figure out together what we know about this situation and then we go to her with the truth that we know. And the truth that we know is that God can redeem any pain in any of our lives. All things work together for good to those that love Him and are called according to His purpose. So God can redeem this in her life and He can teach us beautiful things. He can bring beauty from ashes in her life and in our life. And we sing this with, with tears and emotion because it's so hard seeing your childhood. And at one point she couldn't move for a day and a half from the bed because she was so scared and so fearful. She'd get hysterical if we even moved near her leg. And we prayed together with her and within a half an hour she was moved without trauma, without pain. And so we've seen the hand of God in our daughter's life. And some of you watching today, some of you here in this room t today are just going through way more challenging experiences than a broken bone and the trauma of that. You're going through life stuff that is just such a big curveball that you have no idea how to deal with it. And I just encourage you, the message is the same. God is our hope. We turn to Him. We trust Him. He is faithful. He will bring beauty from the ashes in your life. And we can cling to Him. Really, the hope that we have in Jesus is the basis for revival. And is it not true that we need revival right now, my friends? We need revival right now in our nation and in our world. The hope we have in Jesus is the basis for revival and us coming to Him and our need for Him. We're going to sing a song that I sang last time I was here that I would love for you to, to, to sing along with us. It says, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus, come. Blessed are the poor in spirit who long for you, but let your kingdom come. This is what Jesus prayed. I invite you to pray this as we sing it together this morning. We encourage you to sing it out loud. A revivalist said, if you want to see revival happen, go into your room privately, write a ring on the ground, step into that ring and say, Lord, let revival start and let it start with me. Let's let this be our prayer this morning. Lord, we hope in you and we ask you to bring revival. Let your kingdom come. Why don't you stand to your feet with me and let's sing this together this morning. Blessed are the poor in spirit who long for you, who long for you. Blessed are the heavy heart in need of you, in need of you. Your hands are healing, your heart is hope, your word is freedom for all of the world. You are redemption, you are our help. We need you with us, so let your kingdom come and your will.
your hands are here your 